फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल आर गुड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द प्रोजेक्ट जी एस एम बेस्ड ऑटोमेटिक सब स्टेशन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू मैनेज द सब स्टेशन पावर सप्लाई बेस्ड ऑन द इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन एंड इफ देर इज एनी थ्रेट देन वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द मैसेज टू द अथॉरिटी राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी कंपोनेट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज टू थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी विच इज लाइन इनपुट इन इन साइड दी सब स्टेशन सो दिस टू थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी इज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू सेक्शन वन इज गोइंग टू द ट्रांसफॉर्मर विच इज हाई करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड वन टू थर्टी वोल्ट लाइन इज गोइंग डायरेक्टली टू द आउटपुट बट दिस लाइन इज गोइंग टू द आउटपुट इन ए कंट्रोल्ड वे राइट नाउ दिस टू थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी इज कन्वर्टेड इंटू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ए सी यूजिंग दिस स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर दिस इज हाई करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर विच विल कन्वर्ट ट्वेल्व टू थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी इंटू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ए सी बट एज यू नो दैट दउटपुट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज नोट DC you have to make it DC so these four diode acting as a bridge rectifier which will convert uh, to uh, 12 volt AC into 12 volt DC but as you know there the output of uh, bridge rectifier is not uh, pure DC it have ripples as well as fluctuations so you need to bypass those ripples and fluctuations by using filter circuit so these two capacitor acting as a filter circuit uh, <coughs> this is power indicator led this in, uh, led will uh, Show you that you successfully converted to 30 volt AC into 5 volt DC, and this is 7805 volt, which is doing that operation, which is converting 12 volt DC into 5 volt DC. As you know that uh, we are using microcontroller, LCD, and lots of things which require 5 volt. That's why you have used this 7805 voltage regulator, and we have used another two 7805 voltage regulator as well. One is for this GSM modem, and one is for this fire sensor because they need high current. This also need high current, which is working at 5 volt, and this fire sensor also need very high current, right? So this 7805 for this GSM modem and this 7805 for this uh, fire sensor, right? The microcontroller we are using is two O here. One microcontroller is this, which is 8050 microcontroller, and another microcontroller is this 8 mega 328, which is basically Arduino. But we have taken out 8 mega 328 uh, microcontroller from the Arduino and put O here on the circuit, right? So the operation of this board is only to send the message, <coughs> right? This 8051 is monitoring all the sensors around the substation, and uh, this uh, microcontroller, which is 8 mega 328, is we have used for the message sending purpose, right? Now, if I talk about uh, uh, this, uh, so this, there is 16 uh, pin connector. This connector uh, we can use LCD as well over here, but there is no need because we are already using LCD on this board. That's why this connector is left empty, and this is the power supply uh, because uh, similarly, like this is the power supply. Each and every component is same in this power supply as well, right? This is the potentiometer for this LED connector, and this is potentiometer for this LCD. Now these are the green and red indicator, uh, which will denote any threat present. So these green and red indicator you can put in the security guard room, and this is the buzzer along with these uh, indicators. So if there is any threat, then that will be shown through these audio visual indicator to the security guard room along with the message and along with the line cut as well. Now, for the line cut, we are using relay. This is two thirty volt relay, which is basically controlling the line. If there is any threat, then that line output will be cut down. And this is the bulb which is showing that whether line is on or off. Now, if I talk about these two transistor, they are the acting as amplifier. These are BC five forty seven transistor in Darlington pair configuration, which will. Uh, <coughs> amplify the 5 volt coming from the microcontroller because microcontroller don't have so much amount of current which can amplify uh, the uh, which can drive the relay that's why we have used the true transistor in darlington pair configuration and this led indicator is for relay whether relay is on or off and this diode is acting as a bypass bypasser right now if i talk about these two transistor because microcontroller also don't have so much amount of current which can drive these high power 10 mm led indicator that's why you have used two different transistor this transistor for this led this transistor for this led and this is the buzzer this buzzer will get on and off depending upon whether signal is coming from the microcontroller or not and buzzer need high current that's why you have used two bc547 transistor in the same configuration as we have used over here on the relay darlington pair configuration right now if i talk about the sensors so this is the fire sensor or gas sensor uh, like you can use lpg or any combustible gas to uh, make the sensor output high or it, it can sense the smoke as well this is the earthquake sensor which can sense any earthquake present the sensitivity of this sensor this sensor you can increase or decrease by using this potentiometer but i have set down the sensitivity to a proper limit so there is no need to tamper with these uh, settings and this is the 230 volt line so we have used bulb over here for that and this is the range sensor <coughs> you will apply the range sensor like this so whenever water will be up when you can put this sensor at any desired level where you want to uh, make a threat level right so whenever water will come so this uh, this, this is the flow, uh, light part it will go up as soon as the water will uh, reach to this level right 
this is the LDR sensor which will uh, sense any spark present in the substation so you can put this LDR sensor inside the uh, heavy transformers or in a room where there is a uh, darkness so if there will be any spark that will be sensed by this LDR sensor and immediately it will send signal to the microcontroller and cut down the line and send the message right now this is the GSM modem so you have to insert sim in this this G, uh, GSM modem so this is the sim you have to insert sim like this very lightly it's very delicate right now the message send doesn't matter like this is the uh, smoke earthquake sensor heavy rain sensor spark sensor manual cut uh, as well so if there is any condition improper to the substation then immediately message will be sent to the authority so right now i have put down the number of this phone uh, in the programming you can change that number as well and sim you can put any sim over here because this sim is utilized only to send the message and this is the manual cut like for example in the output uh, there is work going on outside the substation so sometimes we manually need to cut the line so that is done by this uh, toggle switch so if you will on then manual cut will be activated if you will out then manual cut will be off right now we are going to see the live working of this project so we are going to provide 230 volt over here So now <clears throat> you can see that this LED is flashing. So we need a uh, few things over here. And what those things are? You have to keep the sensor in the darkness. So you need to cover the sensor uh, with some object or you need some uh, gas light light right. So now we are going to provide the power supply. Line is on. If system is off, then line is bypassed, right? Now this red LED is flashing. So LCD message is preheating time. So this is the message on the LCD preheating time. Now substation is in the good condition. Green indicator is showing that substation in the good condition and it is written over here on the LCD as well. Now if there will be any threat, then immediately it will cut down the line and will send the message. Like for example, first of all, I'm going to show you manual cut. So if there will be manual cut, then line is cut and this buzzer will keep on beeping and signal is red. Okay, and message will be sent. Now uh, we have covered this sensor, so this is the LDR sensor we have covered through uh, this uh, object because uh, it will sense the light. If there will be any spark or light present, it will automatically sense. So as soon as I will remove it, then there must be message on my mobile phone and line must be cut, right? Now message on the LCD is electric spark detected inside the chamber and message is also came. You can see over here a new message came. And the message is, can you see the message? The message is line cut because of environmental threat or manual cut. Please take care of, of the substation, right? So this is the message. Now we will wait for another. So this is the feature of a spark. Now this is the earthquake sensor which can sense the earthquake waves or any vibration as well. Like if I uh, knock down on this board as well, that will be sensed by this sensor, right? And you can increase or decrease the sensitivity cut automatically and there must be message over there regarding vibration so this is the new message line cut because of the earthquake please take care of the substation so this is the message regarding this earthquake sensor right and this is the fire sensor or any combustible gas sensor as well so could you please uh, give me lighter okay so this is the lighter which we are going to uh, like this is the LPG gas over here so this is the flame now you can see that LPG gas uh, smoke or fire detected inside the chamber this was the message and this is the message on your mobile phone as well right so this is the message and message is line cut because of fire or combustible gas detected please take care of the substation so this is the message we are going to see this feature again as well there must be messages so this is the new message right and the message is line cut because of fire or combustible gas right okay so this was this feature and now we are going to say the heavy rain feature so what happened in heavy rain 
सो दिस सेंसर यू विल फिट इन द वाटर टैंक और एनी वेयर वेयर यू थिंक लाइक वाटर लेवल इज डेंजरस ओवर देयर सो वेन एवर द वाटर विल राइज अप सो दिस इज ए वेरी लाइट पार्ट जस्ट लाइक वुड ओके वेन एवर वाटर विल राइज सो दिस विल ऑल्सो राइज इन द वाटर एंड एज सुन एज इट विल टच दिस पॉइंट देन इमिडिएटली मैसेज विल बी सेंट टू द अथॉरिटी एंड लाइन विल बी कट यू कैन सी Heavy rain detected. This is the message on the LCD. Heavy rain detected, right? And this is the new message. As soon as level will decrease, line will be automatically off. And the message we got is. This is the message. Line cut uh, off because of an environmental condition. Now this is the another uh, manual cut off. So if I'll on, then manual cut will be activated. right manual cut activated this is the message on the lcd and message is also came as soon as you will off manual cut then line will be on and this is the message line cut because of the environmental condition or threat or manual cut activated right so this is all about this project if you have any doubt uh, uh, in the project you can ask me question in the comment box thank you thank you very much for watching the video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel thanks